Hi, welcome to the ready-made templates YouTube channel. In this video today, I am going to design a prescription pad for a dietitian. This prescription pad is going to have three sections. Watch this video from start to end and I can bet that you will love this and learn definitely something new. So, without any further ado, let's start the video now. First of all, go to the layout menu on top and set the page size to 8.5 by 11 inches. Then, go to the margins tab on that same dialog box and set all of the page margins to zero. Then, go to the insert menu and insert a rectangle shape. Set the shape height to 1.76 inches and width to 4.64 inches. Remove the outline of this shape and set the background color to darker gray. You can get the HEX codes of all the colors used in this design from the description of this video. Now, right-click the shape and click the Edit Points option in the menu. This will convert the shape's corners to editable points. Add a new point in the middle of the right side. Click this newly added point and drag it to the right side. This will create an arrow shape on that side. Select the shape, press and hold the control button on the keyboard, press the mouse left button, and drag to duplicate this shape. Set the color of this shape to white. Right click this white shape and send it behind the black arrow shape. Then, duplicate the white shape to create another shape. Change the color of this third shape to yellow. Right click this yellow shape and send it behind both the white and black shapes. Select all of the three shapes and group them to make one object. Go to the Shape Format menu and align this group of three arrow shapes to the left side of the page. Then, adjust this group object a little bit towards the top of the page. Now, go to the Insert menu and draw a rectangle just below this group object. Set the height of this shape to 0.16 inches. Remove the outline and change the background color of this shape to the same yellow color. You can zoom in on the page by pressing the control button on the keyboard and scrolling the mouse wheel upward. Right click this shape and select the edit points option. Then, select the bottom right corner and drag it towards the left. Doing this will make a half cut at that point. Adjust this shape a little bit to align the shape with the arrow shape above. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now, go to the insert menu and draw another rectangle shape. Remove the outline color and change the color of this shape to yellow. Set the width of this shape to 0.5 inches. Go to the insert menu on top, click shapes, and select the freeform, shape tool. Draw a triangle just above this new rectangle shape. Remove the outline of this triangle shape and change the color to a little bit darker yellow color. Then, right-click the triangle shape and send it behind all the shapes. Select the triangle and rectangle shapes and group them together. Go to the insert menu and insert a text box. We are going to use this text box to write the doctor's name, job title, education or qualifications, and the healthcare department name he is working in. You can download this dietitian prescription pad template in Microsoft Word format from officetemplatesonline.com. The link is provided in the description section of this video.
Go to the line and paragraph spacing option and remove the space after the paragraph. Then, set the line height of this paragraph to 1.15. Since we need to make the doctor's name more focusable, this is why let's increase the font size of the name and style it in a little different way. Select the doctor's name, right-click and go to the fonts option. On the font dialog box, click the advanced tab and select condense from the spacing drop-down menu and set the size to 0.8 points. Remove the background color and line of the text box and change the text color to white. Let's add a little triangle on the left of the doctor's job title to make this section a bit more stylish. Insert menu, image, and insert a user style icon to the left of the doctor's name. You can download this icon as well as all the other images and icons used in this video from the links in the description below. Now, go to the insert menu and insert a dietitian icon. Adjust the icon to show in front of all the other objects on the page. Right-click the icon and convert this SVG icon to shape. By doing this, we can adjust the separate parts of this shape. Adjust this icon on the right side of the page. Set the color of this whole icon to black. Then, click the apple part only, and set the color of the apple to yellow. Duplicate the text box and change the color of the new text box to black. We are going to use this new text box to design a section where the dietitian can write the name, age, and gender of the patient along with the date. part of this dietitian prescription pad design is completed. Let's design the footer part now. Go to insert menu and insert a rectangle shape. Set the height of this shape to 0.72 and the width to 8.5 inches. Align this shape to the bottom of the page. Remove the outline and set the background color of this shape to blackish gray. Go to the top, duplicate the shape with a small arrow and place it on the right side of the bottom. Go to the rotate menu and flip this shape horizontally. Adjust this shape in a way that the triangle bottom is just above the black rectangle. Now, duplicate the text box, change the color to white, and place it on the black triangle shape at the bottom. We are going to use this new text box to write the dietitian clinic's phone number and address. Feel free to ask any questions or give your feedback on this video in the comments section below the video.
duplicate this text box to create another one. We will use this new text box to write the clinic's timing. Go to Insert menu and insert a location icon, along with the medical plus sign, and place it just above the contact number and address, at the bottom of the page. almost done. Let's add a separation line in the middle of this prescription pad so that the dietitian can use it to write the primary diagnosis of the patient's disease. On the left side of the page, let's place an RX symbol, this is the area where the dietitian can write the actual prescription for the patient. With that, our dietitian prescription pad design is completed. If you have liked this video or you think that you have learned any new thing from this video, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you again, have a good day.